Have you been creating reels for a while as a small business owner and are still thinking, how can you keep delivering value? How can you improvise? How can you make more reels that have that transformation effect? This video is just for you if you're in the situation that you want to improve your reels or you just want to start and you still haven't, okay? So here are four ideas that I want to focus with all of you. But before we go into those four ideas, the first thing you have to ask yourself before creating content, before sharing your reel, your story as a personal brand, as a small business owner, is what is the purpose and intention of this reel? What are you going to share through this? How are you going to provide value for them? What is the transformation? What is the story behind this reel? Ask yourself these questions before you start creating your content because by each piece of content that you deliver, you're building your personal brand, you're building your authority, you're building yourself as a small business owner, consultant, creator, coach. So focus on really understanding what is the purpose behind your reel, behind your content, behind your TikTok, behind your YouTube shorts, okay? Let's go, the first idea is reels of behind the scenes, which is a behind the scenes look of what you do in a day, behind the scenes look of how you set up your camera, how you set up your kitchen to cook those, those delicious recipes that you wanna share with your community. I behind the scenes of what you do through with your clients, how you do those calls, how you set up your day, how your business is blooming and what are you doing, what are the projects are you working on, what tools do you use daily to help you, this behind the scenes. If you're not comfortable in showing your face in all of the reels, these are beautiful and great to do with no face. So you can just showcase your computer, your setup, your if you are a painter, how you paint, and how you organize your paints, how you do the, if you're a makeup artist, how you do everything for your clients, all that is beautiful to share behind the scenes because you're connecting with your audience in a deeper and more real way. Now we go with the second idea that I want to share with you is the how to the tutorials, the hot tips, anything you want to share that is going to help them, not only tell them, but show them. Show them how can you do certain poses for anything that you, if you're a photographer, how can you set up your kitchen for success? How can you set up your office so your small business is better, it's more comfortable? What do you use? You use candles, you use music. What is it you do? Show them. If you are a mindset coach and you know some ways that you can help them build up their mindset, show them what do you do for yourself to build up your mindset. If you're a personal branding coach, it's me, what you can do is understand what are brand pillars that you use, what is the strategies that you apply so you can help your audience in a deeper way. You're not only telling them, you're showing them. So that's why I talk about the how to's. Okay, let's go with the idea number three. The idea number three focuses on really understanding. Now, how, what is the story that you want to share? through your voice. So it's not, I'm not telling you to give a class, but just to share who you are in a raw way. Just sit down in front of the camera, talk about your day, talk about what has the ups and downs, talk about your failures or values, teach them something, deliver value, and just be there, be present. Nothing fancy, no fancy transitions, just sit down, talk to them, and this is a great way to showcase more of who you are, to elevate your personal brand, to build up your presence because it's like having a conversation. So I call them this style sit downs. Just sit down, talk to your audience, tell them about your day, about what has been going on, about what have you been using in your business as helping them. It's just a conversation using your own voice. And as a plus, you can look for a trending audio or an audio that is being played that is original audio because now Instagram is really going into the original audio. So look for something that goes with the beat of what you're saying that will help you get more views, but remember, views are not everything. If you're a small business owner, coach, creator, what you're interested in is in building your business, right? It's not only about the views, it's about how the views can help you convert your business. How can that message help transform and for people to be curious about investing in your product? As a small business owner, you want more than just views. Now for the third, for the fourth and final idea is vlogs. So there's a lot of people doing now mini vlogs, daily vlogs, gym vlogs, uh, weekend vlogs. So this is great because it's getting even more creative on how you're going to share your reels. It's going deeper into the transitions, the mood, the music. These are a little bit more, let's say, they take more editing work, okay, and more planification because 
you're creating a story of the scenes that you have lived through the week, through the weekend, through a complete month. I have seen people doing like, this is what happened in the whole month of April and they do it in 15 seconds. So it was a really great idea. It's another way to showcase your brand and who you are in a more beautiful and creative way. I do mini looks sometimes. So here's one that I've been sharing and it's a great way to connect and to share more of who you are. So I wanted to remember as a small business owner, as I said, it's important to understand what is the purpose and intention of your reels of your content in itself. Because if people don't understand why you're making this, and if you're just making it for the views, for just the visibility, but not for the conversion, not for the value, not for the transformation, not for people to invest time on listening to you, then your reels gonna be quite empty and superficial. So you don't wanna be like the rest of everyone, just let's jump on that trend and let's do that. Great, 15 seconds of fame and what's next? What is gonna grab the curiosity of people as you as a creator, as a small business owner, as a consultant? What is it? So think about that. And also remember, if you're a small business owner, entrepreneur, a coach, your focus is building your personal brand so it can help you evolve and it can help your business bloom. So all of this that I'm talking about connects directly with your personal brand. If people don't know who you are, where you stand, where your values, what is the purpose of your content? It's going to be very difficult for people to invest in you. So focus on this and thank you so much. I hope these four ideas helped you today.